Good morning, guys. So I'm out here. We It's about a little afternoon. We didn't end up going to work today. We got almost um, a little over three quarters of an inch of rain. Um, some gauges say an inch. Some gauges are about three quarters of an inch. So the ground's pretty wet um, and we're not behind on mowing. We do have a new mulch project that we have to start, but we're gonna take the opportunity because we're not so behind on mowing um, and we just got this rain. We're gonna take the opportunity to get more things done here. Oh my goodness, even the snow peas liked all that rain. So maybe it was a fact that things were just drying out. I mean, I can't keep up with the watering, but it is what it is, guys. We didn't go to work. We were lazy. Well, we weren't really lazy. It rained until like what, one? One, two o'clock. We got almost an inch. Places north of us got even more. Um, so we took the opportunity to go to the dump and get some errands done. And you'll see, I'm gonna, hopefully I'm gonna move one part of the fence on the chicken coop to plant a bunch of the flowers and pots today and finish doing work in the garden. Yeah. Right? get some stuff done there maybe yeah. even mulch the bed up here that i started i was gonna do a tiktok on that video but i never got to it i guess tiktok went away um because i haven't put a tiktok in a while <laughs> it was something i started doing and then i just got busy and i'll put one up eventually but yeah got so much other stuff i know do, right? we did get busy yeah uh, we always get we always definitely put too much on our plate but that's just what life is about and <laughs> yes so i'm not sure how much rachel's she might come out later and help in the garden but um she's got to do billing and stuff so. yeah so you might see me in and out but yeah um i like to do my own thing i have to f fill the bird feeder we actually have to make more sugar water because um you do have to change it out every two days. It goes sour. Yeah, unless it's cooler, I think you can go a couple more days, right? I think right? And three. And if it's hotter, you yeah. got to change it every day. If it's cooler, you can go... Like, it gave you temperatures online when I looked it up, um, how to make it. And it does specifically say that you do have to use the exact... Like, you have to use four cups of water to one cup of sugar... So I made two batches the day that I made it because I did heat it up a little bit to sterilize the water. Um, and then, you know, that made the sugar dissolve a little quicker too. So then the other half of the batch that we didn't use, I ended up putting in the fridge and then we just use that to refill it. But um, now I don't have any more left. So, and update on the baby birds. Oh, it's yeah. so cute, you guys, like so cute. My heart sings at the fact that she chose our garden. And um, so we're just going to leave yeah. that pot there. We're yeah. not going to plant that. Well, we're going to leave that kind of area for her to do her thing with her little Yeah, I went to go plant it, and that's how I found them. Um, but I put it right back in the spot, and we were really nervous. We were really thinking that she abandoned the nest, and um, she didn't. She's no, so I, actually, I actually set the camera up, and I wasn't going to put that whole long video in the previous video. Um, she, I think it recorded for 41 minutes and she was in that nest messing with them birds for probably about 35 minutes. Yeah, so um, cool. And you could see her like jumping out and then back in. Mm. So, um, yeah, she's just very sneaky and she's good at it. So, good baby. Bird. I have to check this. Mama I have to check this other one to see if that one laid it. Oh, baby yeah. Is, so. I would think so because we found her before we found yeah. this one. It's just that's so, high up so I can't see it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy that and it does it just it makes you um just appreciate mm -hmm. you know life is beautiful yes for it is. sure so we're gonna go make the garden more beautiful okay let's, let's go. go so guys here's the hanging baskets they're doing good but i'm about to butcher these baskets and we're gonna cut a lot of these flowers back um and then i put cow manure in here and i'm gonna hit them with a flower fertilizer just to give them because there's not much in these baskets so i want to cut them back and try to make them a little more bushier see how they're branching out with new flowers made it out to do any of the chicken coop i decided to come up here and work on this up here all these baskets i punched holes in them with my soil tester and filled them with cow compost just to see how they do and then i hit them with a shot of uh fertilizer um a gallon i used two gallons of mixed fertilizer for all these hanging baskets um, and the plants down here. I'll show you them real quick what we have. Um, I just wanted to get up on these because the sun was blazing out there. 
Um, and I think I'll show you, I'm gonna work on this bed up here and the bed on the side over here and get all them plants all around this house up here. And hopefully the groundhog doesn't eat any of them, but we'll see. And then we'll get to the chicken coop another day or maybe tonight or sometime this week to do that and plant flowers over there. So this is the bed I wanna get cleaned up. I weeded it all down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move these grow bags all the way over to here. And then in between the grow bags, I'm gonna plant zinnias and stuff like that. Um, and then we're just gonna mulch this with grass clippings like everything else to keep it down. And then up here in this bed, I'm gonna finish going down this way, cleaning this bed out and planting shade liking plants here, cut back the rose bush um, and get this all flowers and actually put mulch that we have left over in the back of the truck in here. So these ones we started from seed. If you guys had watched our garden tour, um, everything is looking really nice in these. Um, so are these baskets. They came back. I stopped watering them as much, and I think that's what it was. Oh, and we seen a hummingbird over there, guys, on Rachel's feeder. I'm going to try to catch it maybe slow motion. But what I'm hoping is now that we got everything straightened up up here and we put all the flowers up here and our chairs, we're hoping that the hummingbirds just come right to these and actually um, feed off of these. I came back out here, I got all the kids, well, Kayla and Paige and Rachel, and they helped me move these grow bags. Now that was no fun at all. Um, but I got them all moved over here and we're gonna make use of this space. I'm just gonna weed eat all this down to the dirt real quick, even lower. I'm gonna come in here and plant all our zinnias and other flowers that are down there in buckets, just all around all this stuff here and then just cover it with grass clippings. And hopefully it all fills in to look really pretty. These we got from a client's house that didn't want them no more. The sunflowers and stuff are coming up bigger in here. The hollyhocks are coming back. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done real quick. Okay, there you guys go. So I got ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four of my potted plants into the ground. Um, now I didn't amend the soil or anything. I just wanted to get them in the ground. I'm gonna go mow the front lawn, put grass clippings in here, um, and get that done before the night ends. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of the bed. There's no point of having weeds growing here and me having pots and plants. And we can see how good these plants come back now. Now, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is groundhog. There's a big groundhog around here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the border with cayenne pepper and 
garlic spray and hopefully they don't come through here, but we will see. So guys, all I'm gonna do is take this and put it in here really thick and keep covering this up. And then we're gonna put mulch in here for, so hopefully this works, keeping the weeds back. I don't think I'm mowed enough yet, but if this works and does good, I think I'm gonna do this for now on. And this isn't like the proper, oh, I missed the zinnia. I got one more to plant, guys. But I'm running out of sunlight. Take my lines all the way out to here. That one I'm gonna leave. I'll have to redo this edge again, but just a rough. So hopefully you guys like this short little video today. I'm um, doing garden work. I did a little bit of edging. Oh, I dumped it right on this. Oh man. That might have had enough. So there you go, guys. I got all that finished with grass clippings. All I got left to do is water it now, so I feel accomplished today. Now we'll see how fast all this bounces back. I have to go do snippy snip on these plants over here. So I know they all look pretty and all with the um, petunias growing. It smells so good, but I'm gonna cut all this back because I want it to bush in more. And then I'm gonna hit it with a round of fertilizer. Like I said, I did put cow manure in it. Good morning, guys. So as you can see, a little bit of plant clippings everywhere. Um, last night when the sun went down, I came out here and packed at these things pretty good. Um, I'm about to fertilize them now and see what happens to them. But I just need an ending for that video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, guys, be happy or at least try.